True the Grinning Man, my name is Matthew Calamain, and I am the writer and director of the feature film titled The Grin, a story that is based on true events that actually happened on the set where it was filmed, or otherwise known as my house from childhood. I found myself at home one weekend night, my parents were out of town, and I was returning from a cancelled sleepover at a friend's house, the lights were on when I got in the door, and I remember getting a phone call from that same friend shortly thereafter, which would end up being the last normal event of the night. My brother was playing video games in the next room, and I could hear him tapping furiously at a video game while I spoke on the cordless phone, I walked around in the living room and ended the phone call in the kitchen. When I remember hearing some kind of high-pitched squeal that came from the house somewhere, and I could not place where it was coming from as it sounded the same in every room I went to investigate. It ended after about a minute after it started and was interrupted by the phone ringing, but the phone was not in the kitchen where I left it, it was in the bathroom on the counter in front of the sink, I answered the phone, and there was nobody there, so hung up. It was at that point where I heard a dragging sound, like a large heavy object was being dragged in the attic crawl space above me. I followed the sound as it slowly navigated from room to room and ended up in my parent bedroom, who still had a water. After the sound made it to the far wall, it stopped and the phone rang again. This time my friend was on the other end of it. I told him what was going on, and he told me to be careful and call the police. After I got off the phone I laid down on the water and was horrified to find a body-shaped solid object inside the waterbed mattress and leaped out, I then heard a knock at the door and answered it quickly, but there was nobody there. It was at this point where my brother called me from his room to check something out that he had just discovered in the game he was playing, and a little more than annoyed at his lack of interest in what was going on, I stormed into his room, there was nobody there. His bed was made and the room spotless, neither the console nor the TV was on, and the controller was wrapped and unplugged, there was no way he could have hid and cleaned his room in the few seconds it took me to make it from the front door to his room, I had been alone the entire night. Hearing for 20 straight minutes my brother playing a game that he was not present to be playing. The phone rang again, but again, it was not where I left it, this time it was resting on the kitchen counter where I originally had left it, so I walked through the entire house to answer it, it was my friend calling again. This time saying that the call was dropped for some reason and he was calling me back, I explained what just happened, and there was another knock at the door, since I was standing right next to it, I peeked out the window within two seconds of the knocks, and there was nobody there. At this point I opened the door and stepped onto the porch to make sure I did not see anyone running away, as I had a large wide open yard, and there weren't anything to hide behind, I walked into the yard to look around, but did not find anything. I found myself engaged in several more minutes of talking before my friend got off the line, and it was at that moment where I realized that the place I had been staring off into space at while talking, were two very large black reflective eyes looking back at me, the figure was tall and lanky, and stood only 10 feet or so from me, in the shadow cast by front the garage from the front door light, the most notable feature he wore was an inhumanly large smile, and he was grinning with oily metallic teeth from literally ear to ear. Despite me staring directly at him for more than five minutes, I pretended I did not notice him, and through willpower alone, made it inside the house without running as fast as I could, and instead walked calmly, I remember feeling like if I ran, he would chase me, and somehow knew that he would have caught me easily. I barricaded myself in my room the rest of the night and did not fall asleep until the sun came up the next morning and my parents were home, nothing like that had ever happened to me before that and nothing like that has happened since. www.thegrin.com Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button to support my work. And as always enjoy the fear my dear.